Right now, though, a nonprofit government watchdog group called OpenTheBooks.com, they have found that Metro Nashville officials expect there will be no increased revenue next budget year, and they're going to have to cut spending, but employees are asking, though, for a sizable raise. Yeah, it's kind of things that don't really work together. We're going to join, we are joined right now by Rachel O'Brien with OpenTheBooks.com. Rachel, will that money be tight next year with that budget? What do city leaders are planning to do about this? Good morning, yes. Actually, I think I may have forwarded you last week's segment. So we talked about this budget issue last week, um, that the, this Metro Nashville is uh, expecting um, no no additional revenue. But, but this week I was hoping to talk about um, actually some money that's coming from the state. Uh, so the state's um, Department of Economic and Community community development, um, they give over uh, $500 million in incentive grants uh, in the last five years uh, throughout the state, and that is to expand businesses um, and recruit new businesses in the state. This is all sort of to develop areas that could use some more development. So we look at Nashville's East Bank, right? We know that there's going to be this massive development on the East Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, Metro's involved, the private developer's involved. And so we're just looking at sort of these grants that the state is giving or has given um, businesses to develop. Um, and $100 million of those grants have been spent in Davidson County. Um, the software company Oracle, if, if everyone remembers a few years ago, they got this large investment from the state, $65 million, um, and that's to develop a property right on the East Bank, right in that same area. Um, but that company hasn't hasn't started construction yet. They they promised to create 8,500 jobs. They haven't started yet. Um, just another example of this sort of economic development spending from the state, Smile Direct Club. Um, they got over $10 million. Same thing to for job training, um, for economic development. Um, and just, just last year, late last year, they filed for bankruptcy. So they're yeah. closing up shop in Nashville. Um, they were supposed to create jobs, and they may have created a few, but, but those are gone now. So this is all really to say that um, while you look at this this huge development that, that's going to begin on the East Bank, you know, the state has funded big um, big investments in businesses before, um, and and they don't always work out so well, and they're spending a lot of money to do that. Yeah, they certainly are. All right, Rachel O'Brien from OpenTheBooks.com. Thank you so much, Rachel. We appreciate it.